What's going on guys? Welcome back to another one. Um, Saturday, kind of a sad day today. Uh, the Classic did uh, did sell. Um, a gentleman named Troy bought it out of Virginia. Um, he's got a few trucks, got some Classics. Showed me a, uh, a candy red one that's absolutely sweet. That's one of my favorite colors, honestly. Candy red, like candy apple red and candy apple green are like one of my, my favorite, favorite colors. Um, anyway, I know it's going to a good home. Kind of a sad day. I, I, I did put a lot of, you know, love into the truck and a lot of work. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. And like I said, I, I do take comfort in the fact that it is going to a good home. Um, Troy, I don't know if you watch the channel or not, but if you do watch the channel, man, thank you so much for making this an easy process for me. And, and taking me at my word about about the truck um, and I hope I, I didn't uh, do you wrong I, I, I truly hope so and I don't think I did but hey if I did and you ever watch this you have my cell phone number ring me up anytime uh, got questions whatever the case is obviously let me know uh, let me know in the comments below or whatever the case is so I got to do a turbo and uh, a manifold on the W9 here and well since i got to do all this stuff i may as well put some pdi stuff some uh, you know a little bit nicer stuff a little bit more spicy stuff but i uh, went and got the stuff at a local shop here to me in dearborn um some of you may or may not know who i'm talking about i'm not going to mention names um, but the guy that i dealt with gave me a manifold that didn't have seals in them or an install kit and just said go get them from cat you know, I took him at his word, which I should have known better, but go to CAT. Well, CAT's nothing like the PDI as far as how things mount. And I should have known that too, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, they were off for Thanksgiving, uh, which kind of screwed me over because now I got a truck that I got to finish. And there's a pretty bad exhaust leak on the back of the turbo too. The fumes are coming in the cab. I don't want to deal with it. Cold PDI. Uh, ask those guys out. Huge, huge help. Uh, they put me in contact with a, a guy named Riley at uh, road, size, uh, road Site Service out of Holland, Michigan. Uh, I believe he's the um, distributor for the Midwest as far as PDI products are concerned. He had a lot of stuff in stock. It sucked because, you know, yesterday I uh, had to drive three hours there and three hours back, but I uh, did get a, a decent deal out of it because it was Black Friday he actually gave me a 50% 15% discount because of it so grateful to him and grateful to him for for picking up you know his, his uh, cell phone when I called him and he even offered it even if I went there uh, later than what their hours were and they might have left early because of Black Friday he would have met me somewhere to, to make the, the stuff happen so again uh, I told him thank you to his face if you ever watch this thank you he, he probably won't but honest to God, I am not getting anything out of this apart from the, the discount from the um, you know Black uh, Black Friday. But you know, credit where credit is due, and, and good uh, a good word when when it's warranted should happen. And, and he he did great. And thank you so much. And if you guys ever need anything, hit them up, man. These guys are on. Uh, but here's what we got. Um, I'm gonna turn this down there. But so the PDI turbo is a little bit different, so it does require an adapter for the cat um, elbow, so it can go into the intercooler. Uh, comes with a seal and a clamp um, that I'll show you guys how that goes on when the when the truck goes in. But I'll leave this here. You know. All right, let's see what comes with the manifold kit. Hey, look at that. The box of goodies that the other one was missing that I was told to go get from Cat. And then... There's the manifold itself. Here 
is the good stuff. Woo! Doggy. So the, uh, uh, the turbo is also a PDI turbo. Um, it's brand new, not uh, refurbished. And it's a 78 millimeter uh, impeller. And I believe a 97 for the turbine. I gotta uh, look into the hot side. Um, and then it's a 1.45 ratio for the uh, turbine housing itself. Right, so for the turbo itself, um, got to take off the housing right there, uh, over here. There is a uh, feed tube, an oil feed tube for the turbo, and then a drain on the bottom. Got to take that out. Uh, got to disconnect the uh, air intake. Probably end up disconnecting that here or up here, so there's a little bit more room. Uh, got to take out the. EGT probe, exhaust gas temperature probe, uh, exhaust, and then uh, you know, start taking out the turbo, the manifold. Hopefully, everything comes out. Um, you know, these things are notorious for breaking studs when you try to do stuff. And uh, I'm hoping, please, Lord, no broken studs. I don't want to be here all day today. So on the bottom of the turbo here, the drain line uh, for the oil, we've got two um, 916 bolts. That are gonna be reused. Both of those. See how bad that impeller is? All chewed up. So I don't know if that's from dust or what. But this sucker is no bueno. Now for the fun part, trying to get the uh, manifold uh, studs and shit off.
All right, so we got really lucky with the studs, guys. They all came out. Uh, one that actually came out, just the uh, the nut, and not the stud, you know, itself. I just ended up taking uh, the spacer out, and then putting a double nut on it, tightening it, and then pulling it out. Came out just fine. So now, I just gotta remove. Taking out these uh, sleeves over here. Very really simple. Just pull them out. And then the gasket comes out with it. I'll clean it out with uh, you know, a scraper. But I'm going to cover those holes. Alright, guys, so the clean, just the residue. So here's the uh, repair. important to chase the uh, the threads where the studs go the exhaust studs is and it's a 3 8 by 16 at least on the cat motors All right, guys. So the guy, the the kit, um, the install kit comes with new gaskets, or sleeves, and uh, studs. Now there's 11 long studs like this, and then there's one short one, and that goes to the bottom uh, where the manifold, um, where the turbo mount is on the manifold. That's just for cleanness, but. Um, so I cleaned all those up, but make sure you throw some kind of anti-seize on there just to help things out. And then just by hand, screw them in until they bottom out, you can feel them. And then there's that. All right, so the manifold is a three-piece, um, and it needs to be mounted. Here's the two little seals that come with it. There's a little card over here that tells you how this thing goes. So these two little seals sit on the end of the uh, exhaust manifold with this little lip pointing towards the center section, like so. And from what I saw and what I read to get this thing started, pretty much putting it flat on the, on the flat surface, and then just working it in. Once it comes in, there's a little bit of screwdriver to tap it all the way in, but 
I'm gonna do both sides first. Like so. And until it bottoms out all the way. Now what you want to do with this is a little bit of NICs. All the way around. Line it puppy up like that. Rubber mallet. Same thing like the other one, you can actually hear when it stop when it bottoms out and it stops moving in. Same thing on this side. Just to get it started so it makes sure it's straight, just give it a little tap. Once you actually see it go all the way in there, then just go to town out. And that's that. All right, you guys, as far as the sleeves are concerned, push them in. Doesn't take much effort. The only one that's a little bit tricky is the uh, very front one here because of the thermostat housing. So you kind of have to play with it a little bit, just a little bit, until you find the place is going in. And that's that. So I only put one uh, stud here just to kind of help it out so I can kind of put it in the front and then I'll put the studs in afterwards because the front ones here, um, if I put the studs on you can't actually put the uh, manifold in. Like I said earlier, a little bit of and uh, you could see the studs on one end is smooth and one end, uh, one end is a little square so the smooth end goes first. Just put just a little bit of anesthes. This short little stud that's up underneath here gets this short little spacer as well. Not one of the long ones. All right, guys. So I got my uh, little gun here in the lowest setting, and this is just a, a, a three-eighths. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and give this a good snug.
Well, this front one here, I can't fit anything but a wrench. And the same thing with this one up underneath here. All right guys, so I got my torque wrench here at 40 foot-pounds. I gotta install the seal for the drain tube here. So if we slide the seal in. Slide the seal in, push the bolt up. Start that. Same thing with the other one. Here's that elbow that I was talking about to actually convert for the uh, for the caterpillar and how the, the piping is ran for the turbo. So I'm gonna put this on here first. 
not going to really tighten anything. And then there's a seal that goes in here. All right, guys, just about done here. So what I also got, so a lot of these older trucks, between the back and the turbo and where the pipe starts, there's really nothing there except that clamp that goes over it. New trucks, however, do have a little seal, an exhaust seal that go around it. So I went to the Kenworth dealership and just got a seal so this is for like a coming but it's just a five inch uh, seal exhaust seal that goes on the back of the turbo this helps it seal a little bit better spending all this money what the hell is a little bit more you know We'll do a quick inspection here, just make sure I got everything. So, tight, 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 clearances. Hi right, guys, it's it for today. I'm uh, I'm tucked up, man. I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, uh, relax a little bit. Tomorrow I gotta put the baby's furniture together and start uh, trying to do that. But manifold's done, turbo's done, the rest of the exhaust is done. Uh, it, it went fairly, you know, good. Thank God, uh, didn't really have that many issues. And there she goes right there. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for your support, you guys. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever uh, you feel like like the video is. If, if you don't like it, thumbs down. If you like it, thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you get notified if there's a new video come up. Again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you on the next one.